Do you have a problem with your joints? Well, you might not be using the right one. You might have the wrong size, might be putting it together wrong, uh, might not be using the glue correctly. I don't know, but we'll go over it. We're going to go over all sorts of different joints, discuss the pros, the cons, ways to put things together, which ones hold up the best, which ones are the weakest, which ones are for the right type of projects, anything, everything that involves a joint, we're going to go over. And the first one up is the butt joint. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Okay, now you might be saying, man, we're just doing butt joints. Look at all that stuff you got on your workbench, right? Well, guess what? We're going to be using it all. There's many different ways to attach a butt joint. First up that we're going to be doing is just using the glue. Why do I have glue, Gorilla Glue? Well, I kind of feel like an animal today, so I wanted to use some animal glue. So let's go ahead and just go over some of the basics of butt joints. Hey guys, let's talk about butt joints. What is a butt joint? First, very simple. It'd be a two by four. You slide it through a table saw, turn them over, and that's your butt joint. It is a 90 degree angle joint. Um, anything at an angle would be considered a modder joint. Um, so the butt joint is 90 degree angle. It's connected, the end grain connected to the long grain. Very simple. It is the easiest, simplest design, yet is the weakest design. And it becomes even weaker when you use only glue. You just smear some glue on there, you would stick it together, and just let it sit. A lot of times people do that for uh, drawers, kitchen drawers, small drawers, stuff like that. Um, but it is the weakest way to do it. There are better ways to reinforce it. Um, we're going to talk about one that is used in construction a lot, and that is the um, using a butt joint and nailing the things together. And the ways to nail it is very simple. You go on your long grain, and you can put them in, space them apart, or you could actually toenail it. What do I mean by toenailing? I mean having it at an angle and just kind of driving it in there to hold. Um, that's very simple. It's using construction because it's the simplest way to connect them, hold them. Uh, you don't use glue with it. You use nail gun, and the nail gun nails actually have an adhesive on the nail that when you drive them in, it'll uh, heat up and actually glue itself into the place. The next simplest one is the screws. Screws will ha do the exact same thing. Uh, you just take your screws and uh, screw them in there. It's very simple. Um, now, you're saying, well, what about toenail and a screw in? They have a thing called a pocket hole jig. You can make your own or Craig makes them. I have the uh, Craig Jig Jr. It's a very simple, very fast, it's very effective. All you would do is take it, you measure off what size of wood you're screwing into, and you take it just like that, and then you would take a drill, and uh, obviously have a, dr a drill bit on it, and you, and you drill down into it, and would leave a hole right on this side. Well, then you would take your piece of wood that you're screwing into, and uh, you would actually just take your screw, uh, these, the, they have special fastener screws that have uh, like a washer head on them, and you just take your screw bit and screw it in there. Um, obviously, when you're doing that, if you aren't going to be taking the joint apart a lot, you'd like to put a little bit of glue on them to hold it nice and tight. Um, when you're doing the, uh, the, the jig or the pocket holes, it kind of uh, acts as a clamp. So when you have the glue on there, the screws act as a clamp to hold it together. Um, glue is one of the strongest ways to attach wood. It's very hard. Well, the glue never breaks. The, the wood actually around the glue breaks. Um, next up is the, uh, that I'm going to be talking about, is the dowel joint. This one's a little bit more technical, a little bit harder to, uh, to get with the butt joints because you have to be almost exact or else you might have, have one piece of wood like that and then this one might be a little bit higher. So you have to be almost dead on when you're making these. Um, 
and the easy way to do these is by having them put together and using like a square and then you take a, a pencil and you mark across and you would have your point of where you would be ne uh, needing to drill it at and then you would just have to come on in this side and say okay I have a uh, quarter inch dowel and you'd have to center it up you make your mark and then you would measure down the top of this and then put it on this and then you put it right there drill your holes fill them with glue and uh, even on the uh, on the ends slip your dowel in there on both sides and then you'd clamp it together uh, let the glue cure and you'd have your joint um, that one's a little bit harder um, the you could also use that technique for the biscuits you put a small biscuit in there um, you'd have to be careful that you wouldn't uh, burn through the, the end when you put a biscuit in there um, so the things that all of them are used for like I said the nails used for construction the when you're doing screws it could be uh, for face frames for doors different things like that all the things get all all of them except for the nails can pretty much be used the same way um, the the pocket holes they kind of hide your joints a little bit better uh, if you're making like a coffee table I made one and I attached the top using pocket joints or pocket hole uh, screws so I mean it, it's very quick simple if you go onto the Craig uh, Craig website they've got uh, videos or even look them up on YouTube and they'll show you ways to attach them people have everything cut in five minutes they'll be able to put a table together uh, all these the butt joints um, like I said I mean they, they can be used for all sorts of stuff picture frames you can make a, a very simple picture frame just by you know just by taking them and this one has monitor joints on it, but uh, you could just butt joint, butt joint them together. It would be very simple, quick. Uh, you'd have to make sure that your your uh, frame is square, though. Uh, maybe we'll talk about that at a different time. Uh, but I mean, I mean, it's not hard. You would just take a square and uh, and check and make sure that everything lines up. Uh, very simple it's a very simple design so uh, we're, next one we're going to be talking about is probably a modern joint and uh, going over a little bit on that so uh, hope you enjoy today's lesson on butt joints